weird. I'm seeing more around the cloud than I am like in. Well, the cloud's everywhere. It's the limits of our light source yeah. that are making that happen. We can definitely keep trying different lights. That was another good one. Yeah. Anyone see that one go across the top uh, of the cloud? Okay, there's some good stuff happening on here now. Yeah, there's really good stuff happening. That was another good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's the bottom of the tank coated with? The electrical tape. The black stuff is just electrical tape, and it's just it just to help us see it. Uh, underneath of the tank is the dry ice. Okay. So what's the science behind it? Like, why is it cold? Why, why is that heat? Um, basically, the room temperature at the top uh -huh. lets the alcohol evaporate. That's why we use 100% because we don't want any water in it. Right. It evaporates and settles to the bottom. The dry ice super cools it and creates um, it into a vapor state at a temperature that it shouldn't be at a vapor state at. Hmm. So it forcefully gives a positive charge to this vapor cloud at the bottom. Okay. And then the rays come through. With an uh, other way around, it it forcefully creates a negative charge. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in the vapor cloud, the rays come through with the secondary muons and cosmic rays have a positive charge, and it ionizes and leaves a trail. That's pretty. You don't love this video, huh? You don't love this one. Oh yeah, you have some good stuff on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I turned down my um my OSS sensitivity yes. because when I was shooting essay, it was in low it was low light. That's so, I was so up much high. better. The, the, a darker a darker exposure. Mm -hmm. you, you can see the cloud better. Yeah. That thing is going to be our key for good data. The webcam, <laughs> the webcam mm, there's okay. some good stuff, yeah. but... So we should all feel accomplished. <laughs> you guys are doing science. <laughs> science on a Sunday. I can't hey. believe we got it working the first try, too. That was the killer. We replaced Dr. Doyle Science Sundays. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> If you impress the spades, you have accomplished something. Yeah. I really thought we were going to be here for a couple hours before we got oh, any kind of reactions. Yeah, I'm looking at two or three every yeah. second. Yeah, a bunch of good ones. I just wish I brought my tripod down. If you want to do this again Thursday, I'll bring my tripod so we can actually sit here and get a good amount of data. I'll work all day on Thursdays. Oh. Yeah, the, mainly the reason we came in on this Sunday was to get people available. But you know, I think Savannah and Joe are finishing a, a cake for the dinner tonight. Mary says she hasn't heard from Savannah in a while. I was trying to get your number, by the way. Oh, okay. The light where it is is like perfect. Wherever the light is now is perfect. Yeah, I'm always saying things, but I remembered after the last conversation that it's safe. 
So this is getting pretty serious if anybody's watching. Good, good. Oh, as long as we oh, dude, the cloud's nice and thick now, too. Yeah. We have it up to, it looks like the highest cloud I can see is like an inch above the duct tape line in the tank. Is that about right? Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, you're getting multiple every Good. half second or so. Good, that's what we need. We need it's to check the timing for it. After this is all the fun stuff, right? We get to figure out what, the, what everything we're seeing means. Yeah, right. We can't do that today. <laughs> the, the webcam video is not bad either now. Really? Yeah, come look, if, come look at the clouds. Oh, oh you're holding the light. <laughs> yeah. yeah, early on, right? The video of the, of the one. something about having markers so that we can calculate yeah. the volume. We have a width of the electrical tape and yeah. we can see the strips in the tape. Mm -hmm. So we might be able to use that. We can measure the average yeah. width of the tape. Yeah. So. Yeah. We don't need to be ungodly precise. That was the mistake I made when I was trying to get the calculations down for what we were going to do anyways. Whoa. I was trying to account yeah, I saw that one too. I was trying to mm -hmm. account for the probability of Tunneling through and not touching anything, and Doctor Space was like, "Yeah, it's like, yeah, ten to like the nine hundred ninetieth." Well, they're only a, th they're only like, they're almost the size of an electron. Yeah. So they're really, really tiny particles, and they have, I mean, they're they are a quantum system, so their probability of tunneling is much greater than anything and else. Like really. You running into the wall. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Calculate, we There's calculate. a much greater probability of the muons tunneling than you tunneling through the wall. So we calculated that in space glass. That's awesome. The probability of you running into the wall at five meters per second <laughs> and actually tunneling through it. That's coming awesome. out the other side. So. But, the, but the point is, it can happen. It would yeah, just... if you run against the wall enough times, <laughs> eventually. But it could happen and the you're first still alive. time. That's, could, that's the yeah. thing. That's true. And, I mean, if you did it every second, it would only take you like 10 to the 150 years. <laughs> but the fact is, it can happen. It would only take you longer than the time the universe has existed. No big deal. So you could probably build a soft box relatively easily for this shape. Like if you take a few light bulbs and build them inside of a box of some kind, put a couple layers of you know, uh, diffusing material. Yeah. The question is, do you want to light it from the top? Do you want to light it from the sides? It seems to work better lighting from the sides. Okay. Uh, usually from the top, we can't. If we stick the light on top, you usually can't see the cloud reaction at all. Okay. Uh, we tried so many different angles at first. So you'd want to light it from both sides and then shoot long ways through the box, or like what? I don't know. 